Good day, here I have a 12 terabyte Seagate uh, expansion drive and I need to pull the drive out of this and put it into a PC. And if you're wondering why somebody might do that, that's because the uh, drives that are included in these USB systems are about $100 less expensive, well, in Canadian dollars in September 2021, these are about $100 less expensive than buying just a bare drive. And you think, well, that's odd. Why would I get, get a large drive with a nice USB case and possibly some software with it and have it cost less than just the bare drive? Well, that's because the drive that's in here is almost certainly slower. It's almost certainly a 5400 spin drive rather than a 7200 RPM drive. However, for what I'm doing, I just need storage. Um, but I do want it to be internal and not external. Let's pull this apart. Now, I have proper tools to do all of this. However, I'm going to try to do it with just standard tools you might have at your house. Okay, so we'll start with this and if I have to go to the uh, more uh, exotic tools, we'll do that. All right, so let's pull it apart. Okay, so nothing else in the box. We have lovely, uh, manual that nobody's ever going to read, but it does tell you how to plug it in in case you're new to this, which I suppose somebody might be, so I shouldn't be so glib about it. All right. The drive itself, just wrapped in this plastic. Just take that out. And there it is. So power, USB 3.1. And that's it. There's nothing really exciting here. You can see in here, it's just a base drive inside. All right, now in the box, there's going to be a USB 3 cable, 2.1 I should say, and uh, there's going to be power, yeah, and that's it. And then there's a bunch of different connectors for different countries, but that's okay. I don't care about that because I'm not going to use it like that. All right, so let's, uh, you don't have to do this, but I'd like to put things on a rubber mat. Um, it's really not necessary, but Okay, so just looking at this, it seems that the this part, so if you're looking at it this way with the label, it seems that having the label side down, that seems to be one solid piece. And then this top seems to come off. I'm just doing this with my fingernail and I can get it under there. So before I go to use my open sesame tool, I'm going to try to mangle it a bit with a screwdriver because if you don't really care about the case or more importantly if you don't really care about how the case looks this will be fine in my case I don't really care about how the case looks I literally just need to drive I'm not I'm not going to reuse this external chassis although I could but I'm probably going to mess it up by using something as crude as this screwdriver what you probably want to use if you've got it is something flat and strong like that but again let's let's see what we can do without that for now uh, normally I have a credit card as well that I use to keep things pried up, but I don't have one handy, so this is just going to be, well, it's just going to be messy. Okay, that screwdriver is just a little too big, so let's try, I'll get my thumb under there and then I'll try this X-Acto knife, see if I can use that. So I'm going to try with a small screwdriver next and see if I can get this jammed in. Yep, it's in, there we go. And then I can just pry it out. There we go. Now maybe I can get this larger screwdriver in. Yep, there we go. I'm just gonna put that down and pry that, out. there we go, beautiful. There. Now it's actually doing less damage than I thought. Okay, so that's great. So now I can just, you can see it just popped off. So I'm getting a point off the part with the Seagate logo. The bottom doesn't have it. And I'm just going to pry it around with my fingers. Okay, that was actually shockingly easier 
than I anticipated. Normally, well, it's not fair to say normally, historically, these have been put in and then either heat uh, heated, so they're uh, a little more difficult to get out, or they're double-sided taped, so a little more uh, complex to get out. But this is just a cheap plastic case that's just clipped in, so easy peasy. And as you can see, didn't damage it. I mean, you know, it's not the prettiest, but it's, it's, I think it's in very good condition. Now to pull this drive out, it's probably nothing. It's probably just a couple of screws. I can see down at the bottom here that there are some probably rubber. Yeah, there it is. I can just lift this thing out. So what I can do is I think I can just, yep, do that and pop it out. There we go. So now I've got three pieces. I've got the top, the top, the bottom with the plastic chassis, and I've got the drive. And the drive has the circuit board right on it. And it's probably just screwed down, and it is just screwed down there. So again, I have proper tools, but I'm just going to use standard Phillips screwdriver here. See if I can pull this off. So that screw is out. I've got to pull the tape off as well, obviously. So let's just back that tape off. There we go. And does this just pop? Nope, that's it. So I just slid it out. Right, so this just whoop, slid out. Well, that is one heck of a lot less expensive solution than what they've used in the past. And it makes a lot of sense. It's just efficient and clean. So now I could put another drive in here, right? Say this is a different drive. I put another drive in, slide that on, which I'll do just like that. There we go. I put the tape on if I want, put the screw on, and then just put it back in the chassis. So the holes for the power and the USB are there, and they would match up there, so I would just pop this in. And in we go. However, it's not what I want. I want this drive. Now you think, dude, I can't do much with this. Yeah, these just pop off, okay? So these are they're just little rubber uh, insulators that uh, provide some shock absorption. And uh, if you want to bolt it into your system, these, yeah, this is the same old thing. So these just come out. I can just use a standard Phillips screwdriver. Ooh, maybe not, just they're a little smaller. So I might have to, so this is a, uh, probably a number two Phillips. I'm probably have to go to a smaller one. So for the sake of expediency, I'm going to go use my specialized tools here, but uh, you probably don't have to. You probably have a smaller screwdriver. Exos Enterprise 12 terabyte drive. Uh, the model is an ST12000NM001G. No doubt you cannot buy this drive separately. Uh, in the past, we've seen that uh, they actually put a different model number on the drives that they put inside of uh, these USBs, uh, even though they're the same drives. I just went and looked this up and found that, in fact, this Exos X16 12 terabyte drive is actually just a standard desktop drive that they would sell outside uh, of this USB uh, 3 chassis, which is quite unusual. This is a full 7200 spin drive. And yeah, so they're selling this for much less uh, when it comes in this uh, uh, external uh, chassis than it does if you just buy it uh, by itself which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I suppose, from the outside, but I'd imagine from inside Seagate, what's actually happening is there's a chip shortage, as you've probably heard, and I'm guessing that it's affecting the company, and they just don't have the product, so they're having to make do with what they've got. They don't want to kill this product line, this USB product line, so they make the drives they make the most money on, which is probably these, and pop them into uh, these chassis just to keep the product line alive. So that means if you buy one of these Seagate expansion drives, at least right now, and you can see here the date on this one is 0221, um, that you are likely going to get what I got, because I got it, uh, a full 12 terabyte drive. That is, at 7200 spin, uh, that is amazing. And you know, good for me. I was perfectly prepared to go with the slower spin 5400 because it's really just for storage for, for what I need. Just so I have it all together, I'm going to take all my little bits and throw them into the 
chassis. There we go. And uh, this will just slide down and I think I can clip it in. Let's see, do I have that in right? It doesn't feel like it. You flip it around, there we go. And I'll just clip it down at both ends, but I'll leave the uh, sides open so the things won't fall out, but I've got it for the future. And I'm just gonna put this back in the box. And now I have a nice external if I ever need it. I can just pop any drive inside of that uh, chassis, inside of that chassis and it will work. I could put a uh, 500 gig or I could put a uh, 20 terabyte. Doesn't make any difference. As long as it's a three and a half inch disc that with a SATA port on it, I'm good to go. Hey, if you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the uh, comment section below or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. We'd really appreciate it if you click like and subscribe as it super helps with Google algorithm if you found this useful. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.